it's Rihanna and welcome back to my channel. I am doing my first 24 hour fast today and I asked on my Instagram if you wanted me to vlog it and so far everyone has answered yes. So here I am vlogging my 24 hour fast. It is now like 1.30, yeah 1.30, focus, there we go, 1.32. And I'm four and a half hours into this fast. Um, now, a couple things that I want to say. This is not going to be a video about um, why you should fast. Because this, I'm not a professional. I'm not your doctor. I'm not a keto coach. I'm not a nutritionist, a dietitian. You know, you get the point. Um, I am just a person who vlogs on YouTube and documenting my journey for weight loss. Um, y'all guys know that and most of you who are here are my subscribers and you're already aware But for those of you who have come to this channel because you were somehow directed here through YouTube's Algorithms or whatever the case may be. Um, I just want to make it clear that if this is something that you want to try out Make sure you do your own research So there's tons of information out there about why fasting is beneficial um, both in a weight loss way and then in, in just like a regular life way from things like um, you know metabolism and you know detox which I hate the word detox but then there's studies to show that it might help with cancer prevention or like heart disease prevention all that kind of stuff um, but like I said I'm not I'm not here to tell you yes or no about any of that I'm here to tell you about my experience with my very first 24 hour fast so how is this day any different than other days? Well, um, for the past two weeks, we've been doing a non-strict version of one meal a day. So right now, I would not have been eating anything anyway. So Jonathan and I will normally have our bulletproof coffee in the morning, um, and then we don't eat anything until dinner time, or at least we try not to eat anything until dinner time, because one of the things that I do and will continue to do for this fast is I listen to my body. If I have to eat, I will eat. I am allowing myself liquids. Now, everyone has different opinions about what constitutes breaking a fast and all that. Zero calorie drinks are okay. So I'm just going to be drinking my unsweetened tea, a Coke Zero, if I decide to go grab one. Not a cherry Coke Zero from Sonic because they put cherry syrup in it and that has sugar and that breaks your fast. Side note, did you know that? Did you know that if you get a cherry Coke Zero, from Sonic that you have to specify if you want the sugar-free syrup because the regular syrup has sugar in it Normally right now I would not be eating anyways But I will say that I actually I am hungry right now and that's one of the reasons why I got up and turned on the camera Okay, I didn't want to ramble on too much in the beginning because I'm sure I'm gonna want to do a recap at the end So I just wanted to start off by saying that I will check in with you um, this evening my stomach is growling All right, it's four o'clock and I'm very, very hungry. As of right now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it till tomorrow. <laughs> if I had to make a decision right now, I would say I'm probably gonna eat dinner. I'm, I'm feeling pretty hungry. I also haven't been drinking very much. Um, I've had like a third of this, so maybe I just need to drink more. I'm gonna go as long as I can. I mean, I'm definitely trying for a full 24 hours. I don't know. I was like, I don't think that I actually need food. It's just more of like a, my body wants it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm delirious. I'm trying to keep myself occupied. I just finished my, I have an upstairs planner and a downstairs planner now. Yeah, I just finished doing that. And obviously my hunger is affecting my brain currently because I wrote down October 32nd. I had to white it out. But, okay, I just want to check in with y'all real quick. Hey guys, um, I just want to pop on here real quick. It's 4.30. 4.30. 4.30. There we go. Um, and I wanted to say that my cravings or my hunger has passed. So, um, let's continue on. Charge. Full steam ahead. Onward and upward. I just had the... Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war. Me, 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 me. All right, I am over halfway done with my fast. It is 10:19 at night, as y'all saw, 
and I'm actually feeling pretty good. I went through a period around dinner time. I can't remember the last time I updated y'all. Um, where I was feeling pretty hungry. My stomach was growling a lot. Um, but I made myself a glass of the Ultima, the electrolyte stuff that I told you I was going to do. And now I'm doing okay again. Now I'm going to be editing my uh, Tasty Tuesday for tomorrow. Sorry, Jonathan's Sorry. doing all of his supplements right now. He's filling up the little money Sunday through Saturday little pill case thing. But anyways, um, I'm going to edit and then go to bed and basically whenever i wake up i'll be able to eat um my plan is to not eat i'm gonna drink my bulletproof coffee and try to make it to dinner so um just like treat it like a regular day is what my plan is but we'll just have to see how it goes all right guys, it's nine o'clock and I hit my goal of 24 hours fasting. Yay! I have my coffee ready. It's still hot. I put it in my my little cheap Yeti. It's the Ozarka brand from Walmart, works pretty good. Yeah, it's still steaming, so it's hot. I will admit that I had a couple sips of it this morning when I made it, because I made it at like 7.45 when I made John's coffee. And so I did drink Eh, about half of it but come on it doesn't it doesn't take away from everything that I already did so okay first thing I want to talk about is the full 24-hour experience and how I felt um, I definitely I vlogged throughout it obviously so you already know that I had moments of hunger and then you know I had periods where I was doing fine everyone considers fasting something different some people think that drinking coffee like with the butter and the everything in it breaks a fast some people say that if that's what's going to take you longer through your fast without eating any food then um, go ahead and put some butter in your coffee like everyone has a different opinion i'm considering mine a 24 hour fast but what i will say is that if you actually take into consideration the last time that i ate and then hopefully the next time that i eat actual food I will still be fasting for a few hours um, so that was a 24 hour fast but the last time that I ate was actually Sunday night I went to bed at 11 so I'm just gonna call it 11 even though I don't think I ate up until 11 but we're gonna call it 11 um, and I probably I'm gonna try not to eat until dinner time tonight so I'm gonna have my bulletproof coffee and just treat it like a regular day. So right now I'm, how do we add, how do I do math? So I'm 34 hours into not eating. Um, like I said, I only considered like the 24 hours the actual fasting. If I'm able to make it to dinner tonight, um, it will have been about 45 hours between the last time that I ate until I eat again. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely had some positive effects on the scale. Uh, last week I was seeing numbers almost up to 248 this morning it was 243 weight is never the lowest in the morning for some reason um, I, I mean I don't know how it is with fasting but typically my weight is actually lower um, like mid afternoon ish um, especially if I'm like fasting like not eating my regular fasting not this kind of fasting one thing that was kind of interesting was it took me a little bit to fall asleep which I did do some research um, yesterday because I didn't have anything else to do. Um, it does say that sometimes you can have issues falling asleep whenever you first start fasting because um, your body is confused because you have all these you have all these internal clocks and that's a real thing, not just for women who want babies. <laughs> um, and so whenever you eat it's telling your body that it's morning so if you're fasting and you haven't eaten your body's not getting those like time stamps throughout the day telling you that okay now it's time for bed so like um your body's still like hey it's not time to go to sleep but you haven't fed us essentially um so it did take me a little bit to fall asleep but i did eventually fall asleep um but i had nightmares i am very susceptible to nightmares whenever there's something like life changing in my life like I anytime that I would move I would have nightmares um, if there's a lot of stress in my life I have nightmares so I feel like this just kind of it goes with that like 
obviously it was a change it was kind of like a stress to my system um like not in a negative way my body was fine when i first woke up i woke up feeling fine i wasn't hungry or anything i did start to get hungry around 8 30 and i don't know if that was like actual hunger or if that was just because like hey you have normally you know eaten your breakfast which is my coffee uh, by now so where is it kind of a thing I originally had planned on wrapping this up right now but I think because I'm gonna try to make it till dinner I'm gonna go ahead and continue updating y'all all right so I'll see you at dinner um or however long I can make it okay we're back from dinner obviously we're upstairs in the office and I wanted to talk about I did technically already wrap this up but we're not going to use that footage because I forgot that I wanted to mention something that um, was kind of important so one of the things that I felt was really interesting from this fasting process was okay so technically if you go by like strict fasting rules I only fasted for 24 hours but I actually didn't have food for almost 45 hours um, Sunday night to tonight at dinner time I did um, eat a glorious pile of meat from Rudy's barbecue that's what broke my fast and now I'm eating some sugar-free chocolate with a little bit of peanut butter um maybe I haven't eaten it yet it's been sitting here for about 30 minutes um but what I was gonna tell you was during my fast today I felt like super clear like really like hyper focused on my work that I was working on and almost like I had better vision like eyesight vision like I just felt really like tuned in like and they say that fasting is really good for your brain and like ketosis is really good for your brain functions um, and so being in ketosis and like fasting is probably like this brain power boost or whatever it definitely felt like that um, I don't obviously have any of you know I, this is just an anecdotal 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 um which sounds weird whenever i say it anecdotal <laughs> anecdotal <laughs> yeah um but yeah uh, that's pretty interesting today was a lot easier i felt like in the grand scheme of things um than yesterday was but i just don't see a need for me to do these all the time and i feel like if i do them too often it's going to become um almost like obsessive but I do want to go do like my one meal a day that I've been doing where I just have my bulletproof coffee in the morning and then I eat dinner at night. Um, that's working really well for both Jonathan and I. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Obviously, like I said, I'm not a professional or anything. So if it's something that I'm not going to be able to answer, <coughs> you can just go ahead and Google it. But if you have any questions specific to like my experience with fasting, um, I would be, you know, happy to talk about it. So um, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Is the bacon chocolate peanut butter.